Despite the scripted facade of professional wrestling, even the most experienced superstars can't help but break character every now and then. Whether it's a light chuckle or complete fits of laughter, here are 10 times wrestlers couldn't keep a straight face. Starting with number 10, R-Truth wins over Brock Lesnar. In January 2020, Paul Heyman wagered a bet with some people backstage that R-Truth could get Brock Lesnar to crack during a promo. So Vince sent Truth out there with one goal, to make Brock Lesnar break character. Truth then improvised a five minute promo talking about his childhood hero John Cena, despite Truth being six years older than him. Then he officially declared himself for the upcoming Royal Rumble. It's officially undeclaring. <laughs> before quickly undeclaring himself from the same match because he realized that Brock was in it too. Neither Heyman nor Lesnar knew what Truth was going to say, but Heyman won his bet because Brock spent most of the promo laughing his ass off. Up until this point, Lesnar had always been a serious business type villain, so it was refreshing to see a glimpse of Lesnar's human side for a change. Number 9. The Rock's Voice Cracks If there's one thing The Rock loves more than laying the smack down, it's making his opponents break character. During his legendary feud with Steve Austin, The Rock used to oversell the Stone Cold Stunner to try and make Austin laugh. He also originally coined the People's Elbow because he and a few other wrestlers were in a competition to get The Undertaker to break character on screen. There have been countless times when The Rock's verbal assaults have prompted genuine reactions from people in his promo segments, but there was one moment where The Rock managed to crack himself up by accident. During a segment on Raw in 2001, The Rock declared that he'd finally come back to Milwaukee, but his voice suddenly turned high-pitched at the end. Finally, The Rock has come back to Milwaukee! The Rock couldn't hide his embarrassment, and so we got to see a very rare glimpse of the real man behind the character, something we were yet to see at that point. As it turns out, The Rock is so good on the mic that the only person who can break him is himself. Number 8. The Taker Rooney No wrestler has been more dedicated to kayfabe than The Undertaker. Throughout his entire career, the dead man has barely even cracked a smile on screen, let alone broken character, despite countless wrestlers trying to get him to do so. Austin, Rock, Kurt Angle, and Triple H have all tried their damnedest to make The Undertaker corpse, but the only person who managed to bring out the dead man's human side was WWE Chairman Vince McMahon. In an off-air segment on Raw in 2001, a bunch of veterans were again trying to break The Undertaker by convincing him to perform Booker T's Spinner Rooney. I think it's time for The Undertaker Rooney. Each veteran took turns, but couldn't crack The Undertaker. What everybody came here tonight to see is the Vince Rooney. Until a determined Vince McMahon came to the ring and performed a terrible Spinner Rooney of his own in an attempt to show Undertaker how a real showman does things. Undertaker still didn't give in, but his reaction said it all. It might have been the first time we ever saw The Undertaker laugh, but he still managed to somehow worm his way out of giving the fans a Taker Rooney. Number 7. Dean Ambrose No Sells A Snake during a wrestling icon, Jake the Snake Roberts made a surprise appearance and confronted Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and Dean Ambrose. After CM Punk and the New Age Outlaws took care of Reigns and Rollins, Jake the Snake was left alone with an unconscious Dean Ambrose, and anyone familiar with Jake's old spots knew exactly what was coming, and the wriggling bag in Jake's hand made it pretty obvious too. Rose, a pure wrestling nerd, didn't react with the kind of terror Snake apparently pooped on Ambrose before leaving too. It was pure wrestling nostalgia, and neither the fans nor the performers could hide their joy. Number 6. Mean Gene Loses It We're going old school with this one, because we can't talk about corpsing without mentioning Gene Okerlund. When it came to losing his composure, Mean Gene was worse than Randy Orton is today. 
He had a habit of finding himself on the receiving end of accidental innuendos on a weekly basis, and despite him being the most compelling interviewer in wrestling history, Mean Gene was always quick to forego professionalism whenever the opportunity arose. In a 1985 interview segment with legendary female wrestler Wendy Richter, Richter told Mean Gene that she wasn't about to lie on her back and let somebody cover her. Richter delivered the line with a serious face, and that just made Mean Gene's sudden cackling even funnier. I lay down on my back and let someone cover me. I thank you very much. <laughs> when the cameras panned back to Vince McMahon in the WWF studio, even the chairman couldn't hold things together. Number 5. The New Day Break Randy Orton we're not sure we can call this one breaking character, because Randy Orton has a long history of going off script. Whenever something genuinely tickles the Viper, he finds it hard to contain his laughter, but the most obvious incident was when the New Day poked fun at Randy Orton's history of being in numerous factions during a promo on Raw. In October 2015, Orton and his partner Dean Ambrose were exchanging words with the New Day. The then tag team champions were boasting of their achievements while pointing out that none of Randy's old factions had ever had the same success. Xavier Woods then said, Damn Randy, how many groups have you been in? Orton didn't even try to hide his laughter. In what was supposed to be a heated battle, Orton's face lit up with a grin before the camera panned away to try to hide his genuine reaction. Dang, Randy! How many groups have you been in? <laughs> I mean, come on, man. We'd like to say that this was a one-off, but it was vintage Orton. Number four, Ric Flair meets himself. Okay, so this one happened in TNA, but Ric Flair's name is synonymous with the WWE, not to mention it might be the only time in history that Flair broke character. Jay Lethal has never been in the WWE, but he's one of the most accomplished wrestlers of the modern era. Not only is he outstanding in the ring, but he pulls off flawless impressions of various wrestling legends, including the Macho Man, Sid Vicious, and Ric Flair. In 2010, Lethal and Flair crossed paths in a promo battle, but unbeknownst to Flair, Lethal cut the entire unscripted 7-minute promo as a mirror image of the Nature Boy himself. Lethal's impression was so on point that even Flair struggled to maintain his composure. Oh, whoa, whoa. Flair clearly goes through a whirlwind of emotions in this segment, from confusion to shock to pure joy. Flair rarely gets upstaged on the mic, but given that his face was as red as the ring ropes, Flair's authentic reaction said it all. Number 3. John Cena When it comes to great character work, Santino Morella might be one of the most overlooked superstars of all time. The goofy Italian had natural charisma by the bucket load, and he was always able to hold his own against the best mic workers in the business. And not only that, but one of Santino's personal goals was to make as many superstars as possible break character on TV. He accomplished his mission with flying colors because Santino cracked numerous wrestlers over his career, but according to the man himself, his biggest achievement was making stern professional John Cena corpse during a backstage segment. All Santino did was refer to John as John Cena and immediately got the crowd and John to pop. It was a simple one-liner, but Santino's infectious accent somehow turned it into a memorable moment for the ages. Any Italian speakers would have noticed an additional layer to the joke too, because Cena is pronounced China in their native language, and it actually means dinner. You have a big mouth, John Cena, and there's nothing I would like more for Christmas than a chance to... So Santino was actually calling him John Dinner. Number 2. Samoa Joe Murders Everybody Samoa Joe is what Scott Steiner would be if Scott Steiner was coherent. Not only can Joe annihilate people in the ring, but his promo skills are up there with the absolute best of them. If Joe hadn't been banished to mid-card exile for his entire WWE career, some of his promos would be the stuff of legend. No promo showcased Joe's verbal evisceration skills more than a segment on SmackDown in 2019. 
while Randy Orton, Jeff Hardy, Daniel Bryan, and Mustafa Ali were in the ring, Samoa Joe arrived to put each respective performer in their place. But Joe aimed his most scathing line at Jeff Hardy when he said, Jeff, why don't you act like this is an AA meeting and shut your mouth while I'm sharing with the group? Why don't you act like this is an AA meeting and you shut your mouth while I'm sharing with the group? The burn referenced Jeff Hardy's real-life alcohol issues, which prompted a genuine reaction from both Jeff and frequent corpser Randy Orton, neither of whom could contain their laughter. It just goes to show that wrestling is the only profession in the world where you can make fun of your friend's crippling issues and still be rewarded for it. Number 1. Bingo Breaks Vince McMahon He might not be a wrestler as such, but Vince McMahon's character work has never been anything but stellar. The chairman of WWE always had a stern-faced villain character whose promo skills and mannerisms were up there with the greats. He never missed, never stumbled his lines, and always acted with believability whether he was in the ring or on the mic. But five-time world champion Booker T holds the prestigious honor of making Vince McMahon genuinely crack up on screen. During Booker T's short feud with Stone Cold Steve Austin in 2001, Booker T spent several weeks hiding from Austin in places around town, which later gave way to their memorable battle inside a supermarket. But before that, Booker T secured himself in a place that he thought he'd be safe from the rattlesnake, a church. Booker T called Vince McMahon on the phone and told him that he was at a local church about to play some bingo. Whether it was Booker T's delivery of the line or the idea of a former world champion immersing himself in the church community, we'll never know. All we know is that the usually reserved McMahon completely lost it, marking the only occasion that Vince struggled to keep a straight face on screen. That concludes our list of the top 10 hilarious moments of WWE wrestlers breaking character on live TV. Which memorable moments did we miss? Let us know in the comments below.